Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for this basic Sorgonomics for June 11th, 2015. And we're going to talk about YouTube. But in the meantime, please check out everything at Sorgatron.com. I got the creator's newsletter where I do a write up every week about something social media y. And of course, you get tips like this uh, podcast that uh, we do all the time. Please follow me on Twitter. As well, uh, I'm always talking about all kinds of stuff, including social media things. And uh, and please feel free. I know some of you guys might be listening from some of the classes we've done recently at the Carnegie Library. Um, if you are, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, follow up with me. Let me know how you're doing. If you have any questions about stuff we talked about or anything in general, I just like helping people out when it comes to social media. And I'd love to start dialogue with you. So, um, so YouTube, as, as, as some of you know, I've, I've had some issues with YouTube. I had an edition where I talked about content ID and where that's going. Uh, as a follow-up, it looks like I'm going to have to actually pursue litigation with a financial burden. So we're going to see if we can raise up a little bit of money to take care of that. But uh, in the meantime, uh, then shortly after that edition came out, we had a little bit of an issue. On May 29th, I got an email. And with this email, uh, the the YouTube for this feed, I have an independent feed that has basic sorgonomics. We put the video up. It doesn't have a whole lot of watchers to it. I think more of you guys are listening on the audio version, of course. But um, either way, it, it's what I use. I, I post about, I, you know, I have an audio version, I have the video version on the post. And I had no explanation other than this email as to why my account had been suspended. Uh, I got this. This is the only information I had. Uh, we'd like to inform you that due to repeated repeated or severe violations, they don't tell you which it is, of our community guidelines, and they give you a link uh, to what those guidelines are, your YouTube account, Basics Organomics with Michael Sorg, has been suspended. After review, we determined the activity on your account violated our community guidelines, which prohibit spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. Another link. Please be aware that you are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating any other YouTube accounts. I have a lot of other YouTube accounts. Uh, for more information about account terminations, how our community guidelines are enforced, please go to the Help Center. So, I mean, it tells you this. So, they, they do give you a bone of prohibit spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. My guess is, and I don't know if I was flagged by a user. I don't know if if their algorithm came across things. Uh, you know, you got to think about, I'm on here talking about social media. I'm talking about YouTube. I mean, the last, the last video before this came down was about YouTube's content ID. And if you're frequenting YouTube, you often see just, if you're putting videos up, you, you probably are saddened by the comments you do get uh, end up being um, get more followers, da, 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 get more subscribers, you know, these spammy kind of things. And I don't feel like I was, I don't think I was going anywhere and saying, hey, check this out, you know, or, or even even to that account, you know. Um, sometimes I think if I talked about something, I would maybe put it over on the podcasters group and say, hey, I talked about this, maybe you guys would be into it. Um, but I'm, I'm fairly active in, in there as well. As much as I could be, I guess, but uh, but still, it, it, it's 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 disheartening when you're doing something and you're trying to build something, and YouTube says, "Yeah, you're 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 violating this." And I'm like, what am, am I a spam, scam, or commercially deceptive? Because this is what um this is what I do, you know. I I guess perceptively it could be, you know. I mean, I'm doing well. I'm doing I'm doing all the things that they say that I should do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm talking about things. I'm, I'm asking people to sign up for a newsletter. Okay, sure. Uh, but nothing really commercially. I'm, I'm just kind of trying to build up a fan base the only way I know how here and not through any kind of deceptive means, and I thought so. Uh, either way, I went in and, and I found, I think I found something to, my guess is this came up with an algorithm. A computer did this, right? As normal things with YouTube. So I, I, I think the process typically is, uh yeah you're not good with this and i'm like no no i do own the race list no no please take another look at this and i think at that point a person actually looks at it um so i i don't know uh uh i don't know what the term is uh counter notified counter countered my thing and says i i think this was an error you know and, and but in the meantime the the video was down for two or three days while this was being taken care of what if this was something that was, you know, how many YouTubers out there 
you know, your drunk kitchens or whatnot, that this is a big portion of their income. They're paying rent with YouTube fees for, for ads. And, and suddenly YouTube says, mm, yeah, I don't think this is right. And even if it's a, it's a mistake, how much money did you lose? I've always had a problem with it. I always thought there was going to be a wake-up call to these YouTubers um, that are they're maybe depending solely on YouTube for that income. I, 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 I think there's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of them, and, and I think there already is as guidelines have changed over the last uh, uh, month. I think these new guidelines come in to effect like June 15th, you know, for instance. And uh, I, I think... I think it's a mistake to depend on that, and I hope that they are. And a lot of them are writing books and everything, so there are more incomes happening. You know, I Justine is doing more than just those videos that are on her channel. It's spun off to her doing all kinds of other things. Another person has a book now. You know, uh, and uh, even these these are just a component of everything I do. You know, the informational portion of the things that I do, for instance. So. Kind of to bring the point around, don't depend on a platform. You may notice I put things a lot of places. Now, the video, of course, is here, but I am also uploading the videos, especially for this show. It goes to Facebook. It goes to Daily Motion. It goes to archive.org. If YouTube disappears, you will be able to find my shows. Even when it comes to the audio versions of all the podcasts, most cases... Of course, I am currently using TalkShoe, which is free, and I am kind of worried and concerned, and I think there's some technical difficulties, but it's free, so what what, what can I really ask for? And I really would like to uh, try to shore up the money. I mean, maybe it's something I just need to push the Patreon harder to be able to cover this, but um, I really would like to move that to, to Libsyn to be something a little more reliable and something I can say, hey, this isn't working, and pick up a phone with somebody. Um, but they're on TalkShoe. But a lot of them are also on Spreaker. So I do have multiple feeds going on there Some, if something happens. You know, just kind of hedging your bets. Um, there was an interview. Uh, uh, Kevin Rose's foundation had an episode with with uh, Leo Laporte with, uh, with uh, This Week in Tech. Of course, they built a million-dollar studio out there. They got a great network, um, a great thing going on out there. And they said, I think there was a question about um, if you're a young uh, content producer, if you're an upcoming uh, content producer, what you know, what what you do? They said, don't use YouTube. All you're doing is feeding YouTube. All you're doing is making money for YouTube, and it just doesn't make sense. So now I think if you're in a position like I am here. I think a lot of people should use YouTube for discoverability. I'm on YouTube so you can find me. I'm on YouTube so that I come up in Google. I'm on YouTube so uh, maybe we'll hit something with a recommendation as, as we have um, recently. Uh, where a video will just pop up because it, it, we hit the right, I don't know, uh, uh, interaction point or algorithm in, in how we described everything. And it's getting recommended out and it's got like 3,000 hits. This has happened a couple times on the Awesome Cast when we clip things out as well. So I, I don't. So so tread lightly. Work on your YouTube. Try to gain your following on YouTube, but have a back door. Have a website. It's why I always say have a website. Facebook should not be your website because Facebook could go away. Facebook whether whether it goes away or you suddenly disagree and they disappear your page like they did with me with YouTube. Any of these guys can do this. We had a thing where we got shut down a couple years ago surrounding E3. We got our, our insert coin to begin Twitter and Google account shut down because we were trying to do, we were actually trying to do what, we, you know, we were emulating our, our, our superiors. So we we're trying to do what Twit does. We, we brought up the, the E3 conference. I brought up in here a Wirecast. We were streaming. And uh, and we had a couple talking heads to talk over, it, as we've seen. Difference is, we're on their platform. Content ID just destroyed all that stuff. And uh, uh, Ubisoft was a little more severe than everybody else and just says, take down on everybody else severely. And it took us a day or two to argue fair use, which it was. 
versus the guys that do this that we 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 emulate are twit and they have their own streamers their own providers they don't have somebody like youtube lording over them say hey play stop playing that song with content id so it's very fickle it's very fickle we could talk about fair use uh, for an entire episode we could talk about a few other things if you want to uh let me know what you want me to cover here in a future episode expand on let me know your thoughts on youtube have you run into any uh any issues with YouTube? Any notices where you're like, I'm not doing that thing? Did they take down your video for some reason? Did you get flagged for some weird reason? Let me know in uh, comments to this at Sorgatron.com or if you're finding this video on Facebook or YouTube um, or on just on the Twitters, at, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And, uh, of course, please hit me up there. And uh, please subscribe. We are on Spreaker, Stitcher, YouTube, for instance, in iTunes. If you're not even on any of those platforms, uh, go to iTunes if you can and please rate and subscribe or even if you're not even going to use it that, that, that helps that helps get the word out right that's how friends of ours i believe our friends that should i drink that just popped up again and new and new, noteworthy that is awesome so on that note please check out everything sorgatron.com we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com